smell odors so the whole house feels fresh air clean, which you're gonna love. Gonna take him out of the fireman's carry off the rope. Variation of the Death Valley driver dropped him on his head, hits the leg, gets one, got two, got two. Again. That was good. Think there's any chance we can get another look at that? Here it is. Mark Briscoe takes down Quiet Storm and gets the cover. And just in time. Just in the nick of time. And it's the Briscoe brothers, Jay and Mark, that score the victory on TNA Explosion. Well, it's the last wrestling card of 2002. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds, and you don't want to miss it. We're going to be bringing in the new year early. Whoa, lots of fun, food, and festivities. You'll see the Misfits against the Victory Twins. Bart Sawyer and Mark Jaguar collide against Mitch Ryder and Big Bully Douglas. Rick Santel takes on Hot Rod Big. Chris Vaughn takes on the Hot Shot Chase Stevens. Eric Andrews collides against Matt Catalano. Mike Rapata returns to take on the son of a legend, David Blair. And in the main event, oh, look at this, TNA superstar Jerry Lynn against a seven-foot monster, humongous. Only tonight, only in Nashville. Don't you dare miss it. If car problems got you pinned for the one, two, three, you need to come see my friends at Mufflers, Brakes, and more. Come see my friend Robert and the gang, where they specialize in mufflers, brakes, and any of your other car repair needs. Don't wrestle with them old car problems. Bring them down here to my friends, mufflers, brakes, and more. Get caught up on all the latest pro wrestling news. It's the USA Championship Wrestling Hotline, 860-7000. That's right, 860-7000. Call right now. Get all the latest gossip, all the latest news, all the latest local action, 860-7000. Call every day, updated all the time, USA Championship Wrestling. If you really want to know what's going on in the world of professional wrestling, this is the number you need to know, 615-860-7000. Why are so many people calling this number? I called the number because a friend told me about it. He had called, got financing for a car, and he's been divorced. Well, like a lot of people, I made some bad money choices. You know, bad credit. So I called the number. For me, it was real simple. I had a bankruptcy and just needed a good car. Calling a number just made sense. Now you've heard it. This is the number to call if you need a car and have credit trouble. Call now. It's free. Ringside for this one on one matchup on TNA Explosion. And his opponent, he weighs in at 219 pounds. This is Sunday Pat Chris Gerblin. And ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to join us each and every Wednesday night exclusively on pay-per-view for the total non-stop action of the NWA TNA organization. You know, they told us that Wednesdays would never, ever be the same, Don West. I just didn't think it was going to be this off the hook, this off the charts, and this wild each and every Wednesday, starting with incredible talent in the X Division, in the heavyweight division, among the tag teams. It really is NWA TNA, your alternative wrestling program. This is the organization, ladies and gentlemen, that you have been looking for. Mike, F, the great shows are now just a blur every single week. It's can you top this? Think of the great matches that we've gotten to see. The AJ Styles, Jerry Lynn, who, how they do it every time is amazing. And speaking of amazing, the amazing Red. Unbelievable action every Wednesday night. 
You know what I think of the X Division, Don? I think of the incredible parody, the depth of the talent roster in that X Division. The two names that you just mentioned, AJ Styles, Jerry Lynn. I don't think it's, it's really any question that they have been the two most dominant names. But then think of what's happened over the course of the past oh. month or so with wrestlers like Kid Cash, Kid Cash, Amazing Red like you just talked about, the recent debut of Easy Money. Unbelievable. Now here's a guy that can do so many things, X Division, heavyweight champion. He can do it all. What a great new addition to NWA TNA. And it seems like every week we've got somebody like that to shoot the stars. And speaking of wrestlers that can do it all, how about the SMTs? Oh, beautiful. Jose and Joel Maximo. Whether it's a tag team match, whether it's an X Division contest, you know that you're going to get an incredible bout from the SATs. And that's what we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to the talent depth, the roster that this organization has assembled, and not only in that X Division. Think of the tag teams that we have. Chris oh. Harris, James Storm, they have been world tag team champions for months. Almost 12 weeks. However... Ever since James Mitchell, Father James Mitchell and his disciples of the new church have returned, and yes, they've returned with evil. Things have certainly been different in the tag team world, and yes, they are now the NWA World Tag Team Champions, and I'm talking about Slash and Brian Lee. Slash and Brian Lee were just a little bit more than Storm and Harris could handle week after week. I mean, you think about the, what they've done between all the other places that they've defended their titles. I mean, undefeated them up until that day on November 13th when they lost the title, had never lost a match to anybody. Quite a competitive one-on-one -on -one contest here involving Rick Santel and Chris Gatlin on TNA Explosion. Gatlin sent into the corner by Santel, and he just crashed and burned. He just crumbled in the corner. Let's see if Santel can follow up the advantage and again he sends Gatlin with tremendous impact and authority into those corner turnbuckles. It's obvious Santel his arm is, is, is hurting because he can barely fling him into the corner there. And he does get a two count there on Chris Gatlin before Gatlin is able to roll the shoulder. I saw Rick Santel for the first time in Laverne, Tennessee. He was the headline match, unbelievable. And you know who he went up against? No, who? Chase Stevens from the Hot Shot. Great. And Santel took him in. Really? Great match. And the Hot Shot's talking about tag teams in NWA TNA. Chase Stevens, Cassidy O'Reilly. They've been a big part of the tag team scene on total nonstop action, exclusive pay-per-view programming as we see Chris Gatlin head out to the ring apron, and now looks like a high-risk move is on the way. Gatlin headed up to the top. Off the top. Oh, look for the big elbow drop off the top. Santel saw that one coming, able to avoid it, and now Santel measures his opponent. Going to take him up and brings him down to the mat. End for the cup. Gets two, hooks the leg, and got three. All right, Santel! Well, my broadcast partner, Don West, was impressed when he saw Rick Santel recently, and Rick Santel keeps that little string alive. Getting the win over Chris Gatlin here in this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Rick Santel, a young man from the Volunteer State, Knoxville, Tennessee zone, gets the victory. Santel gets the W on Explosion. Well, it's the last wrestling card of 2002. Tonight, 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 only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds, and you don't want to miss it. We're going to be bringing in the new year early. Whoa, lots of fun, food, and festivities. You'll see the Misfits against the Victory Twins, Bart Sawyer and Mark Jaguar collide against Mitch Ryder and Big Billy Douglas. Rick Santel takes on Hot Rod Big. Chris Vaughn takes on the Hot Shot Chase Stevens. Eric Andrews collides against Matt Catalano. Mike Rapata returns to take on the son of a legend, David Blair. And in the main event, who oh, look at this, TNA superstar Jerry Lynn against the seven-foot monster, humongous. Only tonight, only in Nashville. Don't you dare miss it. It's the largest state-of-the-art sports training facility ever assembled in the state of Tennessee. World Gym Sports and Fitness. Call today, 837-8900. Brand new location in the Hickory Hollow area. They have super cardio, 
full-court basketball, boxing facilities, aerobic rooms, silo spins, sports bars, high-pressure tanning beds, dry sauna, personal training, world gym, 837-8900. It's been called America's favorite fundraiser, professional wrestling. For all you nonprofit organizations, volunteer fire departments, Lions Club, JCs, if you need to raise money, call right now, 615-366-8036. Direct from Nashville, Tennessee. Big time pro wrestling means big profits. Look at this packed gymnasium. Call us right now, 615-366-8036. We'll bring wrestling to you. Family owned and operated for over 25 years, the Catfish House offers a warm and friendly atmosphere with a southern dining experience. We have a wide variety of fresh seafood specialties, and for the steak lover, you'll enjoy our certified Angus beef. Our mouth-watering family recipes will satisfy all your cravings. Get together with your friends and family this evening and enjoy the finest catfish in Middle Tennessee. Located in Clarksville, Springfield, Smyrna, and Shelbyville. You know, most men get pretty shook up about losing their hair. But today, many of them are learning about Bosley Medical. They use your own living hair to fill in the thin spots. Just look at that. It really works. You can treat it like real hair because it is real hair. Your own naturally growing hair. So you don't have to worry about it. Bosley Medical is the world's most experienced hair restoration practice. For over 25 years, they have performed more than 130,000 procedures using the innovative micrografting techniques pioneered by founder Dr. L. Lee Bosley. Each surgeon at Bosley Medical is board certified and individually trained by me. So if you want to have your own naturally growing hair back, call this number for more information. We'll send you this free video and in-depth guidebook that gives you the real facts about hair restoration. There's no cost and absolutely no obligation. So do it for yourself. Call now and get the real results you've been looking for. It's your real hair. You can't do better than real. I want to thank all the great fans that come out and attended Christmas Chaos 2002. Some incredible wrestling happened, and some incredible wrestling is going to happen tonight. Only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. Box office is going to open today at 5.30. Ladies and gentlemen, get your ringside seats early. It's going to be a great night of wrestling action. Can you imagine Jerry Lynn, I mean, one of the most great, great, great talented performers in the ring ever against Lord Humongous. And you've seen what Humongous did to Bart Sawyer last Saturday night. Jerry Lynn and Humongous collide in the ring tonight. That's going to be worth the price of admission right there. Mike Rapata returns to take on David Flair tonight, only in Nashville. Ladies and gentlemen, nothing like seeing it live, and we hope that you'll come out to the fairgrounds tonight for our final card of the year 2002. Man, we're really excited about it, and we hope that you come on out. We're going to we're going to have hats and horns and going to have a great time. We hope you enjoy us, join us tonight, and, and uh, we do hope you're enjoying today's program. Don't forget, TNA Explosion returns next Saturday at 10 o'clock right here on UPN Nashville. We come on right before them. The two best wrestling shows in the market, bar none. No matter what, ladies and gentlemen, we'll always be here. Let the others come and go. And, uh, you know, I got nothing to say about that, but we'll be standing when it's over. Uh, see you in Nashville tonight. The following contest for TNA Explosion is scheduled for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. About to make his way to the ring, he weighs in at 219 pounds, Adam Booker. Mike, today, Don West at ringside for this TNA Explosion matchup. One-on-one -on -one contest featuring Adam Booker, who's just made his way to the ring. And time to get the intro for the opposition. And his opponent, he weighs in at 200 Position is provided by Johnny Curtis to face Adam Booker for TNA Explosion. You know Don West, my broadcast partner, my broadcast colleague, my very long time close personal friend. The X Division matchups, they may have been it's garnering many, here. <laughs> many of the headlines as far as the NWA TNA organization is concerned. But if you think about it, this NWA TNA is more than just the X Division. 
incredible tag teams with recent resurgence of the disciples of the new church. And then we've also seen that the former tag team champs, that unbeaten duo of America's Most Wanted, Chris Harris and James Storm, they all of a sudden seem to me to have a totally different mindset. And I'm not sure exactly if it's something that Father Mitchell and the disciples have brought out of them, or it's just something that was there all along, but we're seeing a totally different duo when it comes to America's Most Wanted. And Mike, the reason is, is you have to fight fire with fire. And when you face the hellfire of, of James Mitchell, that's the only way you can do it. You cannot be passive. You cannot be, you cannot be clean. You cannot be, you've got to pull out every You've got to be evil. You've got to have a little evil in you. You've got to pull out every trick in the book. And uh, that's the only way. Because it seems that way. Yeah, they're to, not going to play fair. You know that. And then when you look at the other tag teams that have been making their way to NWA TNA, we talked about how Father Mitchell has recently realigned the Disciples of the New Church with Slash and Brian Lee, and they are the NWA World Tag Champs. How about another reunion of one of the most famous tag teams of the past decade? Plus, I'm talking about Ron and Don, and I'm talking about Heavy D, Big Ron, the Harris Brothers, the Harris Twins. Just incredible the way that they have come back. And it's been quite a while since they've been a tag team with Don, of course, head of security for NWA TNA. Almost thought there was some sort of rift between the two for a while. It seemed like there might have been. Maybe at least there on the surface, something, a, a rift between the two. Mama must have called a meeting and patched it up. Well, do you remember when Ron Harris was trying out all of the other tag team partners and he seemed to go through basically a tag team partner a week? Was he Ashley Hudson, Sonny Siaki? Right. Um, I'm missing one. Yeah, there was at least one other wrestler oh, uh, that he Brian had brought Lee. in. Brian Lee that he brought in. Always had problems with them as a tag team. You just stumped the professor. God, you're making me look bad. Well, I'll tell you what. I think he was so used to having his brother out there with him. And you get the familiarity. That's you exactly You know, they grew right. up together. And they, you know, they've probably done this as kids so many times. And oh, he just, just, just beat up other kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were definitely the bullies in the, in the playground. Yeah. But, um... Quite a story seeing the Harrises reunited. We talked about another tag team like the SATs, the brother team of Jose and Joel Maximo. A duo that can compete in X Division contest matches as well as in the tag team ranks. You've got to love their heart and their soul. I mean, the, those two, Joel and Jose, always provide you with an exciting match. You never know what they're going to do. The Spanish fly. And what an incredible move that is. That and they double got another team one. What's off the... the top rope. Oh, yeah. How about the other new move that they recently brought out on NWA TNA? Kind of a, a move. The SAT Superfly. The SAT Superfly. Kind of a moonsault leg drop combo. You know, Unbelievable. I thought once they hit that against the Harris Brothers recently that they were actually going to pull off the upset and defeat the Harris Brothers. That did not come about. Ron and Don Harris scoring the win. And, and yet another tag team, Kurt Hennig and Six Pop. Oh, that's, that's going to be interesting to see how the Harris Brothers handle that. Because did they... Not too happily, no, I can tell I you can that. I can tell you. Because they were supposed to be given the title shot, which I guess... The NWA promised him a title shot, just never Bob said Armstrong. win. Yeah, well, NWA there's a, representative. Obviously, there's a little something there between Don Harrison and, and Bullet Bob. I'm going to tell you that right now. Well, there's some heat there between Bullet Bob Armstrong, the NWA representative, and the head of security, former head of security, Don Harris, who he fired from that position. He canned him right on live television. And what is going on with Bruce and Lenny? I'm afraid to even go there. I mean, has somebody been pretending to be something they're not? It seems that way, doesn't it? I mean, we caught Bruce in the shower with April. Of course, that's just done nothing but set Brian Lawler off. Yeah, he was not happy about that, despite April's you... protestations. That, I mean, could you believe April trying to claim that the NWA TNA television producers and directors somehow doctored the tape? Well, maybe April's just trying to change it. Hmm. Maybe just trying to turn him. She, you know what? She may succeed. Hey, uh, you know, I'm uh, not sure about Lenny, though. <laughs> I think that might be an impossibility. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that's a, that would set the stone. Off the forearm, Curtis sends Booker into the ropes. Oh, beautiful move. Yeah, elevates him nicely with a back body drop. And it looks Curtis like holding now... His, holding his ribs. I think he hurt himself. Curtis is going to go high risk. Heads to the top. Oh. 
went for the cross body block which Adam Booker was able to avoid again we talk about these matches here at TNA Explosion it's a chance for young talent every week to come in and try to earn a spot on the TNA roster which is every Wednesday night the greatest wrestling in the world period bar none end of story part of that great open door policy that the NWA TNA organization instituted over five months ago allowing the young stars of the world of professional wrestling to make their way to the fairgrounds in Nashville, the TNA Asylum, show what they have, and to try and get booked on an NWA TNA pay-per-view event. Is gets the roll-up win. Let's get the official announcement from Jeremy Borash. Johnny Curtis is the winner. The winner of the match, Johnny Curtis. No. It is Johnny Curtis who gets the victory over Adam Booker, and I think we're going to have another look as we see Adam Booker go for the clothesline, sort of a wild left arm lariat. It did not connect, but Curtis was able to roll him up, and Curtis was able to get the three count on TNA Explosion. Well, it's the last wrestling card of 2002. Tonight, 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 only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds, and you don't want to miss it. We're going to be bringing in the new year early. Whoa, lots of fun, food, and festivities. You'll see the Misfits against the Victory Twins. Bart Sawyer and Mark Jaguar collide against Mitch Ryder and Big Billy Douglas. Rick Santel takes on Hot Rod Big. Chris Vaughn takes on the Hot Shot Chase Stevens. Eric Andrews collides against Matt Catalano. Mike Rapata returns to take on the son of a legend, David Flair. And in the main event, who oh, look at this, TNA superstar Jerry Lynn against a seven-foot monster, humongous. Only tonight, only in Nashville, don't you dare miss it. Get caught up on all the latest pro wrestling news. It's the USA Championship Wrestling Hotline, 860-7000. That's right, 860-7000. Call right now. Get all the latest gossip, all the latest news, all the latest local action, 860-7000. Call every day, update it all the time, USA Championship Wrestling. If you really want to know what's going on in the world of professional wrestling, this is the number you need to know, 615-860-7000. It's been called America's favorite fundraiser, professional wrestling. For all you nonprofit organizations, volunteer fire departments, Lions Club, JCs, if you need to raise money, call right now, 615-366-8036. Direct from Nashville, Tennessee. Big time pro wrestling means big profits. Look at this packed gymnasium. Call us right now, 615-366-8036. We'll bring wrestling to you. Families are working harder than ever before, so don't let banks charge you excessive fees when you can simply come into Capital Cash. We can help you avoid insufficient fund charges when cash is tight. Capital Cash is the fastest growing financial service provider in Middle Tennessee. We have a variety of services which include payday advance, check cashing, tax preparation, title loans, Western Union, and money orders. And with the holidays approaching, Capital Cash is here to help you with your cash needs. Our services will bring you in and our friendly staff will keep you coming back. So come visit the Capital Cash nearest you. An evening in front of the fireplace or wood stove can be so relaxing. But each year, there are thousands of reported chimney fires. Help protect your home with CSL, the chimney sweeping log. It treats your chimney while it burns. Inside your chimney walls, there's a constant buildup of flammable tar and creosote. The active minerals in CSL will start to dry out and reduce those dangerous deposits, making your next fire safer. It's so easy. Burn just once every 60 fires. CSL, the chimney sweeping log. CSL is available at Kmart, CVS, Eckerd, and Lowe's. A man under the black mask, seven foot tall, Lord Humongous, against Smart Bart Sawyer. There's Athena in her holiday outfit getting outside the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds, Lord Humongous, this giant of a man, never been took off his feet, never been beat in USA Championship Wrestling, collides with one of the brightest stars of TNA, Jerry Lynn. That's right, world-renowned superstar Jerry Lynn Take it on Lord Humongous tonight. This has got to be the biggest, toughest match in the career of Jerry Lynn. What is he going to do against this seven-foot monster? Bart Sawyer just thrown off like a sack of potatoes. Lord Humongous. Sawyer in the air some nine feet down to the canvas. 
Lord Humongous, the mystery man, come out of nowhere about a, oh my God, just take Bart Sawyer's head off. This man is impressive as they come, an absolute and total monster. Has no regard for rules, no regard for the safety of the mother wrestler in the ring. My gosh, spine buster down to the mat. Now Humongous misses with an elbow. Sawyer out of the way there. Sawyer, a veteran, a drop kick that doesn't even phase the big man, a clothesline that doesn't phase him. And there Athena grabs the foot of Sawyer just to throw him off enough. Oh my gosh! Did you see that? And that's how he does it each and every week. Lord Humongous, but can he do it to Jerry Lynn tonight? Now Humongous, now Humongous just trying to bring more, oh, and he does it again. Lord Humongous and the goddess Athena tonight against Jerry Lynn. What will Jerry Lynn, what, what will his plan of action be against this monster? My God. Now trying to snap the neck of Sawyer. Oh my gosh, Sawyer's screaming. Let, let's go to break, let's go to break. Well, it's the last wrestling card of 2002. Tonight, 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 only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. And you don't want to miss it. We're going to be bringing in the new year early. Whoa, lots of fun, food, and festivities. You'll see the Misfits against the Victory Twins. Bart Sawyer and Mark Jaguar collide against Mitch Ryder and Big Bully Douglas. Rick Santel takes on Hot Rod Big. Chris Vaughn takes on the Hot Shot Chase Stevens. Eric Andrews collides against Matt Catalano. Mike Rapata returns to take on the son of a legend, David Blair. And in the main event, who oh, look at this, TNA superstar Jerry Lynn against a seven-foot monster, humongous. Only tonight, only in Nashville. Don't you dare miss it. It was just after sunset, and Steve Casey was approaching the entrance ramp of I-65. When a tractor trailer hit him head on. I served more than one tour in Vietnam, but this is the closest I ever came to dying. I called Bart Durham. He got me a judgment for $1.5 million. Blair, I want to thank you. One Marine to another. Call Attorney Bart Durham, 242-9000. Justice is your right, and we demand it. Did somebody say toe? There's only one name to know. Shorty's Wrecker in Lebanon, Tennessee. Call him, 449-0372. Shorty can move a semi or a Volvo. Heck, he can move a house. Shorty's Wrecker Service, Lebanon, Tennessee, 449-0372. Call him today. You're never stranded when you got Shorty's number in your wallet, 449-0372. There's one new television show that has it all. Intrigue, drama, and some of Hollywood's biggest stars, except in this show, they're not acting. Celebrity Justice. The truth isn't scripted. Today at 5 on UPN 30. Introducing Jimmy. This outgoing bachelor will unearth cool new clues for Jeopardy. Meet the new Jeopardy clue crew. Tonight at 6 on UPN 30. Back to some exciting USA Championship Wrestling. Mixed tag team wrestling action. Young Eric Andrews, who I think is a leading contender for Rookie of the Year and the beautiful April Pennington taking on Hot Rod Biggs and Lollipop right here today on USA Championship Wrestling. This one is gonna be interesting, folks. April Pennington and Lollipop hate each other's guts. You got the goddess Athena outside on the on the ring apron. I'm not sure she's just not stirring trouble between both of them. Their Hot Rod Biggs says, go Rod, go. The fans do not like Hot Rod Biggs in Nashville, Tennessee. Power number hookup between Eric Andrews Hot Rod Biggs grabbing the wrist, wrenching the arm of young Eric Andrews. Eric Andrews, the pride of Gallatin, Tennessee. And reverses it. And Hot Rod Biggs sends Eric Andrews down with a handful of hair. And he goes, cowers behind his favorite lollipop. 
Lollipop, talk about a polarizing character here at USA Championship Wrestling. You either like her or hate her, and um, the men seem to like her and the women seem to hate her. We're sure glad you're joining us here at USA Championship Wrestling. We'll return to UPN next Saturday. Brand new year, brand new show. Got some major surprises. Make you turn on the TV next Saturday morning, folks. Uh, another lockup by the young competitor from Gallatin and the much heavier Hot Rod Biggs. A reversal sends Biggs across. Nice leg drop takedown. Eric Andrews working the headlock now. Rudy watching all the action real close. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you join us tonight for the year-end spectacular at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. Colorado Kid, Mike Rapata, and David Flair tonight only in Nashville. And Jerry Lynn, you've seen how humongous just destroyed Bart Sawyer. My gosh, what's he going to do to Jerry Lynn tonight? Biggs throws Eric Andrews off. He ducks, comes off with a very nice drop kick. Sends Hot Rod Biggs down to the floor. Southern style Tennessee wrestling action coming to you from the Tennessee State Fairgrounds in Nashville, Tennessee. It's about our third or fourth week back. We've been out for about six months letting TNA get all heated up out there at the fairgrounds. And well, they're just going great guns. Drawing over 1,200 people every Wednesday night out there at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. If you want to see the traditional wrestling, wrestling that Grandma and Grandpa brought you up on, this is where you see it. Only Saturday nights in Nashville. Biggs about takes a head off of young Eric Andrews. April Pennington wanting to tag in. Biggs now pounding on the forehead of young Eric Andrews. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, our next big supercard is on Saturday, February 3rd. Saturday, February 3rd of 2003, the next big USA Supercard. I'll be telling you all about that. It's a fabulous February reunion show. And WATNA Explosion returns on Wednesday, January 8th, back to the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. We will be the first show at the fairgrounds this year on Saturday, January 4th. And Hot Rod Biggs tags out to Miss Lollipop. Now Lollipop coming in the ring. Goes right after the lovely April Pennington. And there's a cat fight in the middle of the ring. Hair flying all over the place. Lollipop and April Pennington. April Pennington now has her in his leg scissors. Lollipop desperately trying to get out of it. Look at that figure on April Pennington. Woo! Lollipop trying to escape. Then up and does and reverses it. And now April Pennington takes it back over and gives her a little holiday spanking, if you will. And a thumb to the eye. Now Lollipop goes over to slap Eric Andrews. Are you crazy? Now Hot Rod Biggs throws her down by the hair and an elbow on April Pennington. What a cheap shot. What a cheap shot by Hot Rod Biggs. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I would be remiss before this show goes off if I don't give a world of thanks to New World Concessions at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds who've been out there for years. New World Concessions is leaving the fairgrounds they won't be uh, doing the snack bar anymore. The new company is moving in in January. But tonight will be the last night for, for Alex uh, and a lot of the... Whoa! I think April will stop uh, Hot Rod Biggs there. And a drop kick by Eric Andrews. Now kick to the midsection. Whips the big man across. And uh, introduces a boot to his face. Anyway, Alex Rizzoli, feet on the ropes, feet on the ropes. Alex Rizzoli and all the great people out there, Cassie Marola, and every, all the New World Concession people, we are going to miss you very much. Danny Baldwin and all the people out there that 
serve the hot dogs and the beers and the pizza every week. And uh, uh, sometimes I guess there's got to be a change come about in this crazy world. But uh, we look forward to working with the new people. But I do want to say, New World Concessions, you have went above and beyond uh, the Call of Duty and uh, serving us out there at the fairgrounds and, and the fans and us sure appreciate it. And Biggs now in a penny predicament, count of one. He's mad at Rudy, accusing him of trying to count too fast. Rudy sends Biggs down to the mat. You don't lay your hands on the USA Wrestling Referee. Biggs dishing out some more punishment on Eric Andrews. Whips Eric Andrews across. Biggs comes in with a big boot. Well, very unorthodox. Uh, Underflip there by Andrews. Now Andrews scurries right up the top rope. So what we're going to do here. Now the big frog splashes it enough to beat Hot Rod Biggs. It is your winners, Eric Andrews and April Pennington. Well, it's the last wrestling card of 2002. Tonight, 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 only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. And you don't want to miss it. We're going to be bringing in the new year early. Whoa, lots of fun, food, and festivities. You'll see the Misfits against the Victory Twins. Bart Sawyer and Mark Jaguar collide against Mitch Ryder and Big Bully Douglas. Rick Santel takes on Hot Rod Biggs. Chris Vaughn takes on the Hot Shot Chase Stevens. Eric Andrews collides against Matt Catalano. Mike Rapata returns to take on the son of a legend, David Blair. And in the main event, Oh, look at this. TNA superstar Jerry Lynn against a seven-foot monster, humongous. Only tonight, only in Nashville. Don't you dare miss it. Before you do this, your transmission. <laughs> Bring it in to Affordable Transmission and Auto Center. We're the affordable solution for all your auto care needs. They're the pride of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Affordable Transmission. For all your car care needs, 494-0141. Bring it in to Affordable Transmission and Auto Center. We're the affordable solution for all your auto care needs. Keep it quality. That's affordable. It's been called America's favorite fundraiser, professional wrestling. For all you nonprofit organizations, volunteer fire departments, Lions Club, JCs, if you need to raise money, call right now, 615-366-8036. Direct from Nashville, Tennessee. Big time pro wrestling means big profits. Look at this packed gymnasium. Call us right now, 615-366-8036. We'll bring wrestling to you. Would you like to help provide your family a gift of a quarter million dollars for as little as 50 cents a day? Now you can give your loved ones the ultimate gift, peace of mind, with a quality term life insurance policy through Matrix Direct. For as little as 50 cents a day, a 35-year-old can get a quarter of a million dollars of life insurance, or a 40-year-old can get the same coverage for just pennies more a day. And these rates are guaranteed not to increase for 10 years. Your value starts with some of the lowest prices in years from Protective Life Insurance Company, followed with outstanding service by your own dedicated licensed insurance professional and toll-free service seven days a week to help you and your family at any time. For a free quote with absolutely no obligation, call Matrix Direct now. Call 1-800-896-3632. That's 1-800-896-3632. Call now for the ultimate gift, peace of mind for so little cost, backed by Protective Life Insurance Company, helping Americans since 1907. Call now. Well, I sure appreciate you spending the hour with us here at USA Championship Wrestling. Folks, there's only one place to be in Nashville, Tennessee on Saturday nights, and you know that's the Tennessee State Fairgrounds in Nashville, Tennessee, and I know they're having this strip mall wrestling and bar wrestling and auction house wrestling and flea market wrestling and rat-a-tat wrestling. Folks, history. Be a student of history where you see the great wrestling is in the great hall of the Tennessee State Fairgrounds every Saturday night only in Nashville. And that's where you know you're going to see the good, credible wrestlers Saturday night in Nashville. You head to the Tennessee State Fairgrounds, and they're going to be there tonight as they're going to be every Saturday night. Jerry Lynn. Lord Humongous, the goddess Athena, Chris Harris, Mike Rapata, David Flair, Bart Sawyer, Big Bully Douglas, Eric Andrews, Chris Vaughn, Rick Santel, all of them.
You can only see them one place in Nashville, and that's the Tennessee State Fairgrounds, and it's tonight. And I hope you'll join us, ladies and gentlemen. See you next year. Oh, look at this. Referee Rudy Kazuti. Rudy trying Smith. to force, uh, yeah, whatever. Trying to force the dream back. Lawler is on his, now he's on his feet. Barely. Oh. Cuts him off, one to the gut. Dusty Jerry looks like he's ready for the bunkhouse stampede. Oh, oh. my God, there was Lawler. What a right hand shot from the American dream. Sent Lawler up and over all the way to the floor. Boy, he went ass over tea kettle on that one. And now Dusty, who looks like he's ready to compete in the bunkhouse stampede, if you will. If you will. My God, he's, he's got cowboy boots on and those blue jeans. And he might even have spurs in his pockets. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. He's got, a, he's, got a, he's got a toolbox. That's the toolbox the ring crew uses to put this ring up before the show. Dusty Rhodes has got the toolbox. Oh! He just ran Lawler's head into it in public even. It was in the corner of that toolbox. Good God, now he's getting an Allen wrench. What's he doing? Now wait a minute, he's got, what is that? Is that a rope or a tie or a, a cable, something like that? Some type of cable wrapped around the throat of Jerry the King Lawler and Dusty Rhodes. Using any means necessary to control Jerry the King Lawler here in Nashville, Tennessee. Well, now he's got the king on a leash, more or less. Family owned and operated for over 25 years, the Catfish House offers a warm and friendly atmosphere with a southern dining experience. We have a wide variety of fresh seafood specialties, and for the steak lover, you'll enjoy our certified Angus beef. Our mouth-watering family recipes will satisfy all your cravings. Get together with your friends and family this evening and enjoy the finest catfish in Middle Tennessee. Located in Clarksville, Springfield, Smyrna, and Shelbyville. The fireplace or wood stove can be so relaxing, but each year there are thousands of reported chimney fires. Help protect your home with CSL, the chimney sweeping log. It treats your chimney while it burns. Inside your chimney walls, there's a constant buildup of flammable tar and creosote. The active minerals in CSL will start to dry out and reduce those dangerous deposits, making your next fire safer. It's so easy. Burn just once every 60 fires. CSL, the chimney sweeping log. CSL is available at Kmart, CVS, Eckerd, and Lowe's. There's one new television show that has it all. Intrigue, drama, and some of Hollywood's biggest stars. Except in this show, they're not acting. Celebrity Justice. The truth isn't scripted. Today at 5 on UPN 30. Introducing Cheryl. Education is very important to me. This working mom is ready to unearth cool new video clues for Jeopardy. Come on with that. Meet the new Jeopardy! Clue Crew. Tonight at 6 on UPN 30. Shipwrecked. Two enemies fight to survive. Can a rescue arrive in time? Last known position. I detected weapons fire. Watch tonight at 7 on UPN 30. Dream Dusty Rhodes. And we saw what happened. I am proud to announce this Wednesday at the Asylum the return of the American Dream. He'll be here. This Wednesday as well, it's going to be a big six man tag team match as the Legion of Doom team with Jeff Jarrett to go against 
Triple X, Elix Skipper, low key. And of course, the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels. Also, this Wednesday at the Asylum, it will be the X Division champion of the world, along with the lovely desire, Sonny Siaki, to face the amazing red this Wednesday at the Asylum. All that and more, we are going to take a look at what went down this last Wednesday in one of the wildest nights I've ever seen in the history of professional wrestling. New World Tag Team Champions as well as America's Most Wanted have regained the belts. They are the Tag Team Champions of the World. This Wednesday, they will defend those belts again. This Wednesday, it will be Divine Storm and the lovely Trinity. All that and more, you guys ready for explosion? Yeah! Fasten your seatbelts, gang. It's a wild ride. Let's go to the ring. The following contest for TNA Explosion is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. About to make his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 248 pounds, classic Colt Cabana. I love that name. Triple C, classic Colt Cabana. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 205 pounds, C.M. Conk. I guess we could refer to this as the Battle of the Windy City. That's right. That's right. Both of these competitors coming from an area of the country that you're very familiar with. Absolutely. Hometown. Chicago, Illinois. Triple C, classic Colt Cabana. Good to see. There's a close-up of him against CM Punk. And you're right. Good to see CM Punk back in NWA, TNA. Was in a classic 14 uh, tag team match with partner Ace Steel, who they both train under. Of course, Ace Steel has been with Mortimer Plumtree here for a while. And sure, we'll be seen again. Oh, man. Whoa, beautiful move by CM. Kind of reminds me of a matchup that we had several weeks ago on our pay-per-view program involving uh, the, the SATs against Divine Storm. That was for the Battle of Brooklyn. That was right. Both of them coming from the same training school. And same the case here for Classic Colt Cabana and CM Punk. We talked about it at the time. What a great opportunity to vary your offense against someone who's probably very familiar with your moves. But this one's for the bragging rights. Roll through, quick reverse by Cabana. Punk back to the advantage. Very even matchup here in the early going. It's obvious, Mike, that someone has told these two that if they perform great at DNA Explosion, that they can make it up to the bigs in NWA TNA, and these two have come out on fire from the start. Uh, it's sort of like Jason Cross. That's right. I guess he would be example number one, wouldn't he? And almost won the title last week against Sonny Siaki. In fact, some people think he should have, and I'm one of them. Great explosion with the Larry at that time by Colt Cabana, snapping back the neck of CM Punk and sending him crashing to the canvas. Follows it up with a right hand of the jaw, and now Cabana in the driver's seat in this matchup and let's see if he can put away his training partner nice reversal though by punk cabana able to get the boot up but again oh, but there it is oh, a prime example kid. of coming up with a different move something that your opponent is not that familiar with and then cabana follows up springing out and then hitting the acai moonsault i'll tell you what the triple c came out to perform today you know, that's an amazing move, especially for someone the size of right. classic Colt Cabana. 245 pounds? You, you, you think of that move, and it was made famous, the Acai Moonsault by Yoshihiro Acai, better known as Ultimo Dragon, you know, who probably weighs 40, 50 pounds less than Colt Cabana. But to see someone at 245 pounds like Cabana hit that kind of a move is very impressive. You almost take it for granted when you see such great agility from such big men here in NWA TNA. And you know what, think about all those same size people with the great agility that they can see every Wednesday night on TNA. Like a Sonny Siaki, like a David Young, like an Easy Money, uh, Jerry Lynn. And if you think about it, all that, of those. that's what makes the X Division so great. The fact that we don't have that specific weight limit. And it is all about style. And that's why the X Division is opened up to people like World current champ Sonny Siaki. Think of the advantage size-wise that Siaki's going to have this Wednesday when he puts the X Division title on the line against Amazing Red. But when it comes to the size of the heart That's right. that Amazing Red brings to the ring, when it comes to the guts and the courageous effort that we can expect from Amazing Red with that X Division title oh, on the line, beautiful. it's going to even up that size advantage in a hurry. You know, every time you see Amazing Red from here on out, after all the, uh, all the incredible, amazing things we've seen him do, 
you don't even think about the size anymore. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I don't even, it, it doesn't even visually appear to me anymore like it used to. You just know that this kid has got so much heart, so much soul, and, and so much desire that even though Siaki may have him by 80 pounds, it's an even match, I can tell you that. Punk goes for the cross body off the top, caught in midair by Cabana, drops him down, goes for the cover, hooks the leg and gets a two count from referee Rudy Charles. This has been an incredible match, Mike. Yeah, very competitive, great back and forth action that we bring to you each and every week at the TNA Asylum. Oh! Oh, oh my gosh, did you see check that? Check that out. Reverse from Panrana and a grand down. Unbelievable! The winner of the match, C.M. Punk! Don West, you hit it right on the head. Cabana and Punk both turned it up a notch tonight. And check this out. Reverse for a Panrana. The quick follow, the hook of the leg. There's the three count for Rudy Charles. And CM Punk wins the battle of the Windy City. Impressive victory for CM Punk on TNA Explosion. After the Titans beat the Steelers, come celebrate with us. Tonight, 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 only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. Hot, live, Southern-style wrestling. You'll see Chase Stevens collide against the Freak. Eric Andrews takes on Hot Rod Biggs. Andy Douglas collides against Lonnie Lane. You'll see Style and Shane Eden and Chris Vaughn collide against the Fabulous Blonde. Well, look at this one. And this, they're all talking about. First time ever. Lingerie, Triple Threat, Rip and Tear match. Who you figure it out? Athena takes on Lollipop, takes on April Pennington. All three girls in the ring at the same time. They start out in lingerie. It's a triple threat ladies match tonight. James Storm and Chris Harris collide against David Flair and Humongous. All this under one roof, fairgrounds, tonight. Your news, one hour earlier. Fox 17 News at 9. Get your news one hour earlier. Watch Fox 17 News at 9. Saturday night at 9 on Fox 17 News. You can help catch a criminal. Fox 17 and the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation are teaming up to help capture some of the state's most wanted fugitives. Find out how you can help. Watch Tennessee's Most Wanted. Saturday night at 9 on Fox 17 News. A downed pilot. A daring rescue. You read me. On the next. We've been at you. Unit X. Watch tonight at 9 on UPN 30. When trouble strikes, there's just one thing to do. Call the MIB, the men in brown. <laughs> Andy and Barney are the men in brown. Watch the Andy Griffith Show tonight at 10 and 10.30 on UPN 30. Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Last Wednesday night, over 400 people turned away. Folks, you got to get there early. Get there early. TNA tickets are becoming the hottest ticket in town. And you can talk about the Titans game this afternoon, no. but we turned them away. We simply didn't have the seating. Folks, get mm. your tickets early. Box office opens early. at 4 o'clock. All general mission seats, just 10 bucks. And this Wednesday night, oh. Dusty Rhodes, Legion of Doom, Jeff Jarrett, Triple X. I, an all-star card. Amazing Red, Sonny Siaki for the X title. The big main event, Triple X against the LOD. And Jeff Jarrett, as Bert said, you got to get there early. Don't be one of the many hundreds that was turned away. Jeremy, Don't this is no hype. No, this, this is, is no, no hype. hype. There were this legitimately is, is over 400, and they were mad. Mad! But Folks, if you don't get there on time, we kick off at 6.30 every Wednesday night. TNA, I'll tell you what, nothing like it. I'll tell you what, and every week it's continued to grow and grow and grow. We've been telling you, you need to get out there. You need to see it live. You need to be part of history. You need to experience total nonstop action live and in person. Do what you got to do. Steal Bert's phone. Get your own phone. Call all of your friends and tell them to get there early. Do not be turned away. For your chance to see total nonstop action live and what a show it's going to be this Wednesday. You mentioned it before. Bert, I know he's been to this arena before. Every time out, what a warm reception for the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. He will be there this Wednesday night at the Asylum. After the Titans beat the Steelers, come celebrate with us. Tonight, 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 only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. Hot, live, Southern-style wrestling. You'll see Chase Stevens 
Clyde against the Freak. Eric Andrews takes on Hot Rod Big. Andy Douglas collides against Lonnie Lane. You'll see Style and Shane Eden and Chris Vaughn collide against the fabulous Blonde. Oh, look at this one. And this, they're all talking about. First time ever. Lingerie, triple threat, rip and tear match. Who you figure it out? Athena takes on Lollipop, takes on April Pennington. All three girls in the ring at the same time. They start out in lingerie. It's a triple threat ladies match tonight. James Storm and Chris Harris collide against David Flair and Humongous. All this under one roof, fairgrounds, tonight. At a time when car insurance rates are going up, Direct is one company holding our rates down. There's only one sure way for you to know if you're paying too much for car insurance. You have to shop around. We now have over 700 employees to give you the very best in customer service. So call us at Direct and take advantage of our new lower rates. We offer great service at a great price, low down payments, and low payments. Why pay more? Call Direct now. Save a lot of money when you buy Direct. An evening in front of the fireplace or wood stove can be so relaxing. But each year, there are thousands of reported chimney fires. Help protect your home with CSL, the chimney sweeping log. It treats your chimney while it burns. Inside your chimney walls, there's a constant buildup of flammable tar and creosote. The active minerals in CSL will start to dry out and reduce those dangerous deposits, making your next fire safer. It's so easy. Burn just once every 60 fires. CSL, the chimney sweeping log. CSL is available at Tractor Supply, Rite Aid, Eckerd, and Walgreens. Due to the serious nature of the situation involving Vince Russo and his attempt by the Sports Entertainment Extreme Organization to take over NWA TNA, I have requested this time and I have also invited the past, the present, and the future of our sport to the ring. First off at ringside, let me direct your attention to former wrestlers Sarah Lee, Corsica Joe. Over 40 years in the business as a wrestler and a promoter, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Eddie Marlin. And he also just happens to be the grandfather of the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, Jeff Jarrett. Let me direct your attention to the ramp. This is the future of our profession. This is Rick Santel on the left and Chris Vaughn. Guys, you're our future, but you know it's not going to be easy. You start off in security. You start off setting up the ring. You start off in dark matches, and you earn your spot on an NWA TNA pay-per-view. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the present. Very familiar faces. First, the MVPs of the tag team division in NWA TNA, America's Most Wanted, James Storm and Chris Harris. The former NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Ron The Truth Killings. And the MVP of the X Division, whether he has the title belt or not, Mr. Jerry Lynn. This is the progression that has been going on for over 50 years in the National Wrestling Alliance. And by God, I want to see that progression continue. If I can get personal here for just one minute, because I did work with Vince Russo for several years in World Championship Wrestling. Can you imagine the predicament to be put in when you go to a production meeting and you're sitting next to Bobby Heenan in the production meeting and Vince Russo tells you that he can make anybody a wrestler. He can make himself a wrestler. He can make David Arquette a wrestler, Judy Bagwell, the Nitro Girls, the list goes on and on. And you're sitting next to a Bobby Heenan who bled and bumped his ass off for 30 years. That's the lack of respect that Vince Russo has for this business. More personally, when Vince Russo insulted every one of yours intelligence, with the crap that he put on WCW week after week, they closed World Championship Wrestling. I lost my job. I was out of work for a year and a half. I was a non-entity in my chosen profession. 
But let me get to the most important aspect of my request tonight, and that's the plea. The plea to ask you, the wrestling fans, both here in the arena and at home, contact us at nwatna.com. Give us your feelings about the tradition of the NWA versus Vince Russo Sports Entertainment Extreme. This is a plea to the wrestlers, past and present. The former NWA world champions, anyone in the past that has been associated with the NWA. Please step up to the plate for us. We need your support. We need to rid this profession of Vince Russo. This is all about survival. And bottom line, this is all about winning the war against Vince Russo. try to get something through your head. By the way, if you're wondering about the music, I've got friends in management. Think about that, Mike. Why do you think I'm here, Mike? Why do you think I'm allowed to walk in that door with my boys every Wednesday night? Why, Mike? Well, obviously, you do have friends in high places. No the question about that. Good for you, you've got friends in high places. And you know what? The NWA and the TNA group is ready to stand here and fight you and fight your sports entertainment extreme. You tell them, partner. First of all, Mike, like I said, I'm going to remain calm. And you don't want to fight anybody because I'll stick your foot straight up your Eddie Munster so fast your head will spin. Now, I am here once again, let me explain, to save this business. Because right now, this business, Mike, look at me when I'm talking to you. It's at an all-time low, Mike. And why is it at an all-time low? It's at an all-time low because people like you are allowed to run your mouth. I'm taking over, Mike. <laughs> When Vince Russo was in charge, the ratings were at an all-time high. House shows were packed. Nobody came to this hole until Vince Russo walked in the door. Now look around you, Mike. They're here to see me. They're here to see Sports Entertainment Extreme. Doesn't sound like it to me. Solution, Mike. 
Because right now, I give it six months. You! What are you going to go do, model men's underwear, you fruitcake? And don't you look at me, bro. Because you know where I'm coming from. You're going to wrap your way to the top? African-American rappers come a dime a dozen, pal, and half of them suck anyway. And these young guys? You know what you got? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. I'm not drinking your Kool-Aid, and neither are they. the future of our sport. That's the future of that sport, and if you don't rely on Vince Russo, you're going to be flipping burgers at Jack in the Box, you <laughs> And look at these three old crows right here. Yeah, that's tradition. That's what that is. They're the ones that laid the groundwork. Right, shut the, the reason hell that up. you're in this business. Would they be on TV right now if it wasn't for Vince Russo? Pay-per-view, no less. Yes, they would, because they laid the groundwork. They're the pioneers of this sport. They're the reason that you're here today. And you know what, Mike? Like you, they are dinosaurs. You got this walking, talking age spot over here. Corsica. And look at this dinosaur over here. Let me tell you something, you old wench. You think you would be out here right now if it wasn't for Vince Russo? You'd be changing his diaper. They come on to come in here. Oh, Sarah's coming into the ring. We have seen her. You're on TV. When's the last time you? Oh, my God. I love it. Tell him! Russ, you wanna go with me? My young bro, you wanna go? You wanna go? You don't ever oh, put your hands come on! on me. Don't even, Russo Grimp! Sarah like that! Here we got a melee going on right now! You knew it was gonna happen! It was brewing! Sports Entertainment Extreme, the tradition are going at it right now! Sports Entertainment Extreme, Mike! Enjoy it, baby! Wait a minute! Here comes Jeff Jarrett! Here come the Road Warriors! This is what it's all about! As they send them all out of the ring! There's the animal! Home! The champion Jeff Jarrett! They're all in there! And they rattle out to the roar of the crowd! You son of a bitch! Yes! Well, I guess somebody heard the plea in the back, didn't they? So she's not afraid to step up either. That's what it's going to take for the NWA, not only to survive, but to thrive against Vince Russo and Sports Entertainment Extre Extreme. This is what the NWA needs. Jeremy Borash here with the, well, rather sophisticated mother of puncture. We are in the TNA Asylum for the wildest, wildest it's night. It's too loud in here. There are too many people. It is too loud. I can't hear a thing you're saying. Hey, it's been like this all night. Don't think it just started. Don't think it just happened when TNA Explosion went on the air. It's wild all night long here at the TNA Asylum. You wear aprons in the shower? What does that have to do with anything? And do what? You, and why'd you bring that up? I can't hear you! Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, this last Wednesday at the TNA Asylum, it was a wild night indeed. Now, I'm telling you, when the American dream, Dusty Rhodes, showed up to confront Sports Entertainment Extreme, and Vince... Wait, 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 oh, wait, come on. All right, get out of here. Forget it. Forget it. Give me that. Jeremy Barash. Before we talk about Jeff Jarrett and the Road Warriors, I want to address a question that Mike Tanay and Don West had when we premiered 
for Sports Entertainment Extreme. Mike Tanay actually had the gall to say, why Christopher Daniels? Why Low Key? Why Alex Skipper? How could you join Vince Russo? My answer to that, Mike Tanay, is how could we not? After the disrespect that NWA showed us, how could we not follow the vision of Vince Russo? Because Vince Russo sees that Triple X is the future of the NWA. And without us, total nonstop action is just false advertising. Listen, I've loved all three of you as performers since day one. No doubt about it. I don't I just don't understand. This Wednesday night, these three individuals, Elix Skipper, Low Key, and the fallen angel Christopher Daniels, will step in the ring. Their opponents, the Legion of Doom and Jeff Jarrett. Six-man tag this Wednesday night, the LOD and Jeff Jarrett against Triple X. Low Key, you're coming. Yeah, you gotta get your ass Are you insane? This is the future of professional wrestling. And TNA has the sheer audacity to send a bunch of dinosaurs into the ring with the wolves? <laughs> do you understand what we are going to do to the legendary Legion of Doom? Do you understand what we are gonna do to the legendary Double J, Jeff Jerry? The wolves came out and attacked with such ferocity that they left one clear mark on TNA, and that is Triple X was unstoppable. All right. Low key, Fallen Angel. I guess we're going to hear from the third member of Triple X Primetime, Elix Skipper. Plain and simple. We are the new generation, the next episode. We are Triple X, and this is our house. We built this house. And Triple X is the gospel according to the fallen angel. Legion of Doom, Jeff Jarrett, TNA. When that bell rings, all you can do is be ready. Sometimes removing dishes while cooking can be too hot to handle. Ouch! Introducing the OvGlove Hot Surface Handler. The OvGlove, made with Nomex and Kevlar by DuPont, provides thermal protection up to 480 degrees. The five-fingered Flexigrip makes the OvGlove a chef's delight. Use it while cooking in the kitchen, the barbecue, and those hot jobs around the house. Save your fingers. Get the OvGlove. You'll love it. The OvGlove's available at Kmart, Kroger, Eckerd, and Walgreens. Makes a great gift. On the next Once a Thief, an experimental government drug turns ordinary people violent. And now, it's up to the team to bring them in alive. Happy hunting, boys. Before the agency sends in the cleaners, John Woo's Once a Thief. Sunday at 5 on UPN 30. She's every mother's worst nightmare. What goes around comes around. Mommy! The hand that rocks the cradle. Watch Sunday night at 6. From Atlanta, Georgia, he weighs in at 212 pounds. This is the Phenomenal AJ Styles. Well, I guess we jumped to the conclusion too quickly Boy. about AJ Styles and his association with Vince Russo's Sports Entertainment Extreme, didn't we, Mr. Wayne? I just knew he had lied with Russo. I mean, he made it obvious, I thought. And then did he pull the wool over our eyes? You know what it's about? It's not about being in line with Vince Russo. It's not about aligning yourself with any group for AJ Styles. AJ Styles, in his mind, thinks that he is a heavyweight contender to Jeff Jarrett and the NWA World's Heavyweight title, and he wants to be recognized not just as a great X Division competitor. He wants to be recognized as someone who could compete with the Jeff Jarrett's of this world, who could challenge for the NWA World's titles, and all along we thought he was aligned with Vince Russo. Oh, I tell you what, but I'll tell you something about AJ. He can do anything he wants. The guy has proven it in every category, and if there is somebody that could take on Jeff Jarrett. AJ Styles could be that person. He's got it all, the whole package, Mike. 
AJ Styles just back from a great tour of the Orient. Understand that he and Low Key really tore down the house over the big matchup in Japan recently. Great to have both of them back stateside. Back here with NWA TNA as AJ Styles just rocked young Adam Jacobs with that right hand. So is AJ basically his own man? I mean, he's not siding with tradition and he's not siding with sports entertainment extreme. Is that what you're gathering, Mike? And as far as I can gather, he's no longer siding with Mortimer Plumtree. Mortimer is he? nowhere around. Again, maybe we're, you know, at least we know that much. Maybe he felt Mortimer was holding him down and maybe he feels like if he aligns himself with anybody, oh, beautiful kick there. Nice drop kick delivered by, by Adam, Adam Jacobs. Jacobs. Uh, maybe he, down that former X Division champ, Mr. Styles. Maybe he feels like if you can't do it yourself, then don't let anyone else do it. Maybe he feels it's no distractions, that he can concentrate more on his own and uh, achieve the goals he wants. Because he's making no doubt that he no longer wants to be a member of the X Division. He wants the world title. Styles that time overpowering Adam Jacobs. And what does he need to prove in the X Division? Oh. He's won it twice. I know, but it's just the style that he has that is such a perfect fit for the X Division. And I'm with you. I think he deserves, and I'm with him, I guess, at the same time. I think he deserves to be recognized as one of the top contenders for the NWA World's Heavyweight title as well. Heck, in the past, we've seen Low Key face Ron the Truth Killings. Right. Remember that for the Jerry NWA Lynn. World's title? Jerry Lynn challenged for the NWA World's title. So the precedent has been established. And the Truth's even gone down and challenged for the X Division title. So we've got so many guys that can go each factor, and for what I understand about AJ, he wants to be the first man to hold the X title and the NWA title at the same time. So if he gets one, you know he'll probably go after the other. Springing up off the chest oh, of Jacobs. Beautiful. Great agility by Jacobs to land on his feet. But he landed on his back after the clothesline by Styles connected. Let's talk about tag team matchups, and let's talk about the new NWA World Tag Team Champions. Styles, I thought he was almost going to get the three count there on Jacobs. Well, that's America's most wanted once again, back on top of the mountain as the two-time, two-time. That's right. NWA World Tag Team Champions. And they two have Two-time tag team champs. Try to say that like 50 times real fast. First title defense of their second reign coming up this Wednesday at the TNA Asylum. And they're going to face a team that uh, has been very impressive in recent weeks, Divine Storm. And of course, when you talk about Divine Storm, You've got to mention Trinity. Yeah, it's definitely a, a, a three on two anytime you go in there against Divine Storm. Trinity is always a factor in the match in some way. And it'll be good to see Trinity again and Divine Storm. And it'll be great to see Amazing Red back in action next Wednesday when he challenges Sonny Siaki for the X Division Championship. And you know also, Mike, that there's gonna, you're going to see something that you don't expect every week. Who could it be? I don't Think know. of the possibilities. Following on the heels of a Roddy Piper, the Road Warriors, this past Wednesday, the return of the Road Warriors. The American as well Dream. As the Dream, former NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Dusty Rhodes. We've seen David Flair. I mean, think of all the all the, the new names that have come in the last couple of weeks. Percy Hello. Pringle. Percy Pringle. Mike Sanders. Off the inverted DDT, Jacobs for the pin attempt in a two count from referee Andrew Thomas. Yeah, just think of the possibilities as to who could be appearing at the NWA TNA show. Oh, man, here goes. This upcoming Wednesday, expect the unexpected each and every week with NWA TNA, and it's never been more true than the past month or so. Well, it's been very, oh, man, beautiful move there by Adam Jacobs, but this would be an upset right here. Off the suplex, the cover, and a two-count. I'll tell you something, though. Russo gets so many people's blood boiling. Yeah, that like I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised to see a lot of traditionalists come out of the woodwork. Well, we you made, made the call. We made the call. We made the plea. Was that a tooth that flew out? Oh, man. Hook of the leg. No. Did he get the shoulder up? Must be just on instinct alone. Believe it or not, that was one of the bands that, it, that Jacobs has on his fingers there. He hit it with such force, it just flew off. Darn, you blew my story about a tooth <laughs> flying out. Well, I thought it was. <laughs> Styles follows up in the corner, catches it with that forearm, sends him off, and then goes to follow up, but Jacobs is ready. Got the boot up in the nick of time. And the longer that this match goes, and the more competitive that Adam Jacobs stays in the bout with AJ Styles, the more impressive it is to me about Adam Jacobs. Well, absolutely, and if Adam Jacobs wants a, a shot at NWA TNA, 
putting on an incredible match or even beating AJ Styles is a quick way to get there. Uh-oh. Check this out. Holy cow. Oh! 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 Reversed by it. Jacobs. Hook of the leg gets one, gets two. No, Styles got the shoulder up at the last second. I'll tell you what, Adam Jacobs already impressed the hell out of me, Mike. This kid has come against the best. Gonna go high risk again. Oh! Stop. No way! Stop. Oh, no! Repeated way. power bombs. That is why he's AJ Styles. And off the Styles clash, there's the three. The new oh, real. AJ Styles! Oh, yeah. He's not only back in the X Division title picture, but he also is in the NWA World's title picture. According to AJ Styles, Jeff Jarrett, watch out because I'm coming. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce... I, I got a lot of questions for him. I can't be, uh, can't be lying about this. Ladies and gentlemen, please... Shut up for a second! Stupid. Stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome former two-time X Division champion of the world, and a man who looks to have found himself as a contender for the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. I'm talking about AJ Styles. They love me. They can boo all the they want, but when I wrestle, they love me. All right. Well, AJ. Freaking albino looking. They don't. That's, that person's not an albino. Look what? at him. Won't you get a freaking? That's not an albino, please. That's ridiculous. Hey, 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 ass. hey, 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 please don't. This, this is about us and the fans here watching at home. AJ, we have asked you time and time again, and we found out this last Wednesday. And apparently, you are in it for yourself. It's not about Vince Russo. It's not about the NWA. It's just about AJ Styles. Am I correct? That's right. What else would it be? <laughs> what else would it be about? I'm AJ Styles. I've, I've scored everyone in the X division. The only thing left is the heavyweight. X has got it. Man, Jeff's got it and he don't need it. Right. I need to do it. Let me ask Let me ask the fans. Can AJ Styles beat Jeff Jarrett? Yeah. They know it. They say no, but they believe it. They know I can win. All right, well, this last Wednesday, we saw you come out, and I'll tell you, be honest, never in my 25 years of watching wrestling have I seen a man take down the Legion of Doom like you did this last Wednesday. That's right. Not only did I beat Hawk and Animal, but I also put Jeff down. Did I not? Had him beat, gave him the Styles Clash, gave him the Spiral Tap. He couldn't get up. If I wanted to, I could take that a title away from him right now. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is. Contender for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship of the World. This is AJ Styles right here on Explosion. Oh, shocking. After the Titans beat the Steelers, come celebrate with us. Tonight, 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 only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. Hot, live, Southern-style wrestling. You'll see Jay Stevens collide against the Freak. Eric Andrews takes on Hot Rod Biggs. Andy Douglas collides against Lonnie Lane. You'll see Style and Shane Eden and Chris Vaughn collide against the Fabulous Blonde. Well, look at this one. And this, they're all talking about. First time ever. Lingerie, triple threat, rip and tear match. Who you figure it out? Athena takes on Lollipop, takes on April Pennington. All three girls in the ring at the same time. They start out in lingerie. It's a triple threat ladies match tonight. James Storm and Chris Harris collide against David Flair and Humongous. All this under one roof. Fairgrounds tonight. Next time on Providence, a man with a mysterious illness. The amount of insecticide in his system does indicate that he's being poisoned. And one person holds the key, his wife. She's the one who poisoned me. Next Providence. Sunday night at 8 on UPN 30. Your news, one hour earlier. Fox 17 News at 9. The best coverage of the day's top local stories. Accurate weather forecasts. Get your news one hour earlier. Watch Fox 17 News at 9. Hi, I'm Laura Faber for UPN 30 Nashville Notes. The American Heart Association is participating in Hearts in Bloom 2003. Order your tulip bouquets and note cards today for delivery on Valentine's Day. All proceeds benefit heart disease and stroke research and education. For more information, call 340-4102.
to post your event, send a fax to 259-5605, or you can email it to us. Well, Mr. Purcell, I'm sorry you got turned away, but you got to get there early. Yeah, I know full, you're the mayor. You it better... doesn't matter. Get there early. Stop calling me. <laughs> when we're full, we're full. I hope he called you. When we're full, we're full, and we're we were jam-packed this Wednesday night, Jeremy. I personally had to tell 400 people plus we had no more room. Folks, you got to get there early, 630. Please. Call right now. The box office is open, 366-8036. Reserve your seats. You, you must them. pick them up by 530, day of show. We start at 630. Don't be one of the left off. It's standing room only every Wednesday night. S-R-O. Standing room only, no doubt about it. Call that number, or you can reserve them on the Internet. Go to nwatna.com by PayPal. Absolutely. Reserve them there, but whatever you got to do, don't be one of the many hundreds that was turned away this last Wednesday. Don't leave yourself out in the cold. Do not miss your opportunity to come out and see the hottest wrestling program in the nation right now. Total nonstop action. And why are live. they showing up, Jeremy? Oh, they're showing up because... Vince Russo. Oh, Vince Russo. Sports Jeff Entertainment Jarrett. Extreme. Jeff Jarrett. The LOD. The American Dream. Dusty Rhodes will be there this Wednesday. And I have been told through my many sources via this phone that I borrowed from you earlier this afternoon, more surprises this Wednesday. I'm not saying who. It's going to be big. No, no, you know who it is. Don't open your mouth. Be there this Wednesday. Get all there early. For, all for just $10, ladies and gentlemen. Box office opens at four. Don't be left out. The stakes have never been higher. We've been hit. Dylan. On the next Andromeda. Sunday at 9 on UPN 30. When trouble strikes, there's just one thing to do. Call the MIB, the men in brown. Watch the Andy Griffith Show weeknights at 10 and 10.30 on UPN 30. An evening in front of the fireplace or wood stove can be so relaxing. But each year, there are thousands of reported chimney fires. Help protect your home with CSL, the chimney sweeping log. It treats your chimney while it burns. Inside your chimney walls, there's a constant buildup of flammable tar and creosote. The active minerals in CSL will start to dry out and reduce those dangerous deposits, making your next fire safer. It's so easy. Burn just once every 60 fires. CSL, the chimney sweeping log. CSL is available at Tractor Supply and participating Ace, Do It Best, and True Value Hardware. About to make their way to the ring at a combined weight of 442 pounds. They'll see the Wildcat, Chris Harris, and Cowboy James Storm, America's Most Wanted. The former NWA World Tag Team Champions who look to get the belts back tonight against the reigning title holders, the Disciples of the New Church. And their opponents, they are the current reigning and defending NWA World Tag Team Champions being led to the ring by Belladonna and Father James Mitchell. Slash and Bulldozer Brian Lee, the Disciples of the New Church. Well, Mike, this has been a rivalry like no other rivalry. And I think it's pretty safe to say that this rivalry put the tag team division on the map here in NWA TNA. Mike, I understand. I need to ask you a question about this. They're calling this the final showdown. What does that really mean? There has been a lot of talk about this being the final showdown between these two teams that have met repeatedly here on NWA TNA. In speaking to NWA officials, it was explained to me that they want closure with this situation, and as a result, there will be no automatic rematch clauses in the contracts for this match. NWA execs say we're going to settle the score tonight once and for all between these two teams. And certainly it has turned in their favor. I think thanks to Mitchell Belladonna's interference, referee Scott Armstrong has put in a very difficult situation oh. here. How do you, how do you, how do you control these four? But again, Slash. Oh, super kick! Looks that incredible, he gets smashed. Cover here, one, one two, two, and... No! Three, 
Reverse oh. the eye through his partner's eyes. There's the spear. Here we go. Cover one, two. Yeah, he got him. No, he's no, fought no. out. Again, only two. Look at the sharpshooter. He's got the sharpshooter in the middle of the ring. Oh, he's tapping out. He's, he's yeah. tapped out. Scott Armstrong, turn around. He's tapped out. Mitch, wait a look at Mitchell with the spike. He just he hit him with the spike. This is just going out of control, bro. Oh, no. There it is. It's in his Here's hand. the cover. No. No. Dude. No. Oh, yes. He's got the shoulder up. Armstrong again because he was preoccupied with going down. I didn't know the spike. Oh. Next week on Mornings on Fox 17. On Monday, we sit down with Dexter King to remember his father, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Plus, on Tuesday, find out how you can write your way out of any problem, everything from HMOs to contractors. Then on Thursday, get some great tips before filing your income taxes. All that plus Chef Caesar, our top teacher, and some great music. Don't miss Mornings on Fox 17. It's the only place for fun in the morning, weekdays at 6. I don't care if you're my uncle or not. I'm not getting any more free tickets. No more free tickets. You got to wait in line, and you got to pay like everybody else. That's right. Tickets are $10. We're cutting out the freebies, uh, no Jeremy. More. No more. I'll Look you at what. this you show. This out. show is worth 50 bucks, and we're only asking for $10 general mission seat, $15 ringside every Wednesday night. I am alienating Wednesday my night. whole family. I am telling them no more. You got to call the number. You got to get online at nwatna.com. Get them through PayPal. Very easy on your credit card. Call the number. 366-8036, and we will pull your tickets as long as you pick them up by 5.30 Wednesday afternoon. Yeah, and, and 
and I'll tell you what, gang, you got to get out there early. You got to make plans. You got to call that number. You got to get on PayPal. Do whatever you have to do. Do not be one of the many hundreds, 400, 400 over, over fans 400. that were turned away last week because we just didn't have the room. I'm sorry. We could bail, build a bigger building. We could go to a different arena. But no, we are going to stay in the asylum because that is the hottest wrestling oh, building yeah. in the nation right oh, now. Yeah. And there's no two ways about it. TNA, the hottest wrestling ticket right now in the nation. Absolutely. And ladies and gentlemen, NWATNA.com. Mm. Your, with your credit card, you can have your tickets reserved, and the seats are guaranteed. That's really the easiest way to do it. Get up, log on right now, NWATNA.com, and uh, we will pull you some great ringside seats for this Wednesday night or general mission seating. Either one, you can buy them both through bucks PayPal. For ringside, $15. Don't look at me like that. You might be turned away, too. you got to get out there early this Wednesday at the Asylum. After the Titans beat the Steelers, come celebrate with us. Tonight, 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 only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. Hot, live, Southern-style wrestling. You'll see Jay Stevens collide against the Freak. Eric Andrews takes on Hot Rod Biggs. Andy Douglas collides against Lonnie Lane. You'll see Style and Shane Eden and Chris Vaughn collide against the Fabulous Blonde. Well, look at this one. And this, they're all talking about. First time ever, lingerie, triple threat, rip and tear match. Who you figure it out? Athena takes on Lollipop, takes on April Pennington. All three girls in the ring at the same time. They start out in lingerie. It's a triple threat ladies match tonight. James Storm and Chris Harris collide against David Flair and Humongous. All this under one roof, fairgrounds, tonight. At a time when car insurance rates are going up, Direct is one company holding our rates down. There's only one sure way for you to know if you're paying too much for car insurance. You have to shop around. We now have over 700 employees to give you the very best in customer service. So call us at Direct and take advantage of our new lower rates. We offer great service at a great price, low down payments, and low payments. Why pay more? Call Direct now. Save a lot of money when you buy Direct. Sometimes, removing dishes while cooking can be too hot to handle. Ouch! Introducing the OvGlove Hot Surface Handler. The OvGlove, made with Nomex and Kevlar by DuPont, provides thermal protection up to 480 degrees. The five-fingered Flexigrip makes the OvGlove a chef's delight. Use it while cooking in the kitchen, the barbecue, and those hot jobs around the house. Save your fingers. Get the OvGlove. You'll love it. The OvGlove's available at Rite Aid and participating Healthcare America, Ace, and True Value Hardware. For the Vince Russo. Yeah. Kick him. Yeah, Kick him look again, Loki. Loki. Yeah. measuring him. Oh. It looked like oh. it. And Jared no. answers. No. That's not. That's Here's the strength. No. Yeah. No. no. Calls for the official. Three. Cover. Cover. He's got oh. him. One. Two. Oh. Oh. oh, Daniel. You knew it. Oh. to break it up in there. You the knew it. But it was over. Oh. It was yeah. over. Yeah. yeah. In Fair true square. sports entertainment extreme yeah. fashion. Fair and square. He lost the match. It was a valiant effort by Jeff Jarrett. Ladies and hey, gentlemen, the referee he has just disqualified low key. The winner, Jeff Jarrett. He just couldn't pull through. Again. Jeff Jarrett gets victories in all three of these matches Come on. against Triple X, but now he's paying the price. Yeah, we got it. Let's, let's get it. Let's get him out of there. You guys had your match. You lost it. One by one by one, he took him. Skipper and Daniels double teaming on Jarrett while Loki gets his breath. Sports Entertainment Extreme lost three straight matches to Jeff Jarrett. But now this, this post-match attack has Jared in trouble. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, though, what a champion, Mike. What a champion. Daniels and Skipper put the boots to Jared. They couldn't beat him individually, Mike, so they had to team up. Who's coming? Look at this. Yeah. Here come the road warriors yeah. in the back. Walking animal just hit the ring. That's right. The Legion of Doom are back. <laughs> double clothesline from Hawk. And another yes. double clothesline. Since Skipper and Loki to the floor. A 
tell you what, you had to think somebody was going to come out here and help Jeff out after everything Jeff did. The Legion of Doom. Here it is. The Doom Warriors step yeah. back the plate, and there's the Doomsday device on Daniels. Wait a minute. What? AJ Styles just came in. AJ Styles? What is, is he going on? Is he with Russo? Oh, yes, he's with Russo. I mean, where else could he be? I can't believe Styles is sided with Vince Russo. Who's Russo going to get next, Mike? Look at Styles rain down those rights, while now Daniels has got Rude Warrior Hawk hooked in the rope. And here comes the boss of Sports Entertainment Extreme, Vince Russo, through the crowd, from the locker room. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Just put the Styles clash on Jarrett. After everything that Jarrett's gone through tonight, there's no way he can defend it. Oh, why did AJ Styles side with Russo? AJ to the top. Oh, went for the spiral tap off the target, and Road Warrior Animal was just thrown right here to the broadcast table at the same time. It's this is like a damn war zone it, out here. It is mayhem. Look out. It is total mayhem, as it always happens when Sports Entertainment Extreme gets involved. His only strength is in numbers, Mike. His only strength is in numbers. Russo directing the troops in the ring as they continue to assault Jeff Jarrett. Now what? They've got a table out on the other side. They're bringing a table into the ring. Look at Russo now with cheap shots for John Jarrett. Just total disrespect for the art of wrestling. Total disrespect is all Russo has. While, oh, he's, no. while he stands now, around. Jarrett on a table. Look at this. All three members of Triple X. Unbelievable! It's going crazy! Dusty! Tennessee versus Old Miss today at noon on UPN 30. There's one new television. Final line also offers a complete line of truck accessories from Nerf bars and brush guards to fiberglass lids and toolboxes. With three convenient locations to serve you, Rhino Linings is your complete truck accessory superstore. Rhino Linings, the spray on bed liner. There's one new television show that has it all. Intrigue, drama, and some of Hollywood's biggest stars. Except in this show, they're not acting. Celebrity justice. The truth isn't scripted. Today at 5 on UPN 30. Introducing Cheryl. Education is very important to me. This working mom is ready to unearth cool new video clues for Jeopardy. Come on with that. Meet the new Jeopardy Clue Crew. Tonight at 6 on UPN 30. Good Saturday morning, everyone. Welcome to DNA Explosion. It's Jeremy Borash along with no one today. We were looking for Burt Prentice. Haven't seen Burt Prentice since Thursday. Anybody seen Burt Prentice? Have you seen... What the... Snowball? This is cold. Oh, Mortimer Plumtree. This is snow. That's ridiculous. It's snowing in I know Tennessee. it's snowing in Tennessee. This it's is snowing. ridiculous. It's snowing all over the place in here. Please. I don't like your dandruff. Hey, what are you doing here? Where's what Bert? About, I passed him on 65. He's still waiting for T-Doc to shovel him out. So you're here today? Yes. Well, I'm you here. should have picked up Bert Prentice if you're on the way here. Anyway, well, Mortimer Plumtree here today. Hopefully we'll, we'll see Bert relatively soon if he's oh. still able to walk. I'll tell you what, gang, coming up this Wednesday at the Asylum, we will see what happens. This last Wednesday, when Vince Russo made the challenge, it was accepted, and we'll see what happened today, what happened to allow Vince Russo to make the call. He is now in charge of this Wednesday night's program. He is picking the opponents for the world champion, for the tag team champions, and for the X Division champion. That's right. Vince Russo gets to name the opponent for Jeff Jarrett. 
He gets to name the opponent for uh, X Division champion Sonny Siaki and the tag team champions, America's Most Wanted. Unbelievable stuff. It is definitely Vince Russo's night. He pulled the one over on the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Well, I'll tell you what, I have a question for you, Mortimer Plumtree, since we have you here. AJ Styles, later on the program, we'll see what happened. He came out and said, my affiliation is not with Vince Russo. My affiliation is not with the NWA. My affiliation is not even with Mortimer Plumtree. <laughs> What's the deal? You misunderstood. It is all about strategy. Strategy is the key element in the wrestling game. EJ Styles firmly alongside, firmly aligned with, firmly appointed to the firm grasp of Mortimer Plumtree. <laughs> you misunderstand. Time and time again. Well, why weren't you out there with him at ringside this week? I was out at ringside. Uh, do you call that a comp I call was that at ringside. Right, we'll see was what I happens. not at ringside? I was at yeah, ringside. you were there. All right. We'll see what happens when Mortimer Plumtree comes out to ringside with AJ Styles. Coming up this week as well, we are going to see what happens. A surprise visitor when AJ Styles was finished with his match. Somebody we didn't expect to see. And not to mention a man we didn't expect to see at the very end of the program as well. He came to the arena arriving as Mr. Wrestling 4. At the end of the night, we found out when he took off the mask. Unbelievable. We'll see that later on in the program. Plus, we'll hear from Triple X and hear them talk about their match that they had this last Wednesday with the Road Warriors and Jeff Jarrett and, and Dusty Rhodes. And a whole lot more. Fasten your seatbelts, gang. Mortimer Plumtree, Jeremy Borash. It's time for TNA Explosion. That was really cold. It's all over. Okay. Keep an eye on him, would you? And his opponent, he weighs in at 235 pounds from Atlanta, Georgia. This is David Young. And a new David Young that we've seen in NWA TNA for the past several weeks. Right, Don West? Absolutely, Mike. He has returned and returned with a vengeance and a focus that we have not Ooh. seen before from David Young. A wrestler reborn. The last few showings that he's had here. He has wrestled his heart out, and I'm telling you, has been so impressive that NWA TNA officials can do nothing but keep bringing him back. January 22nd is the date of our next incredible pay-per-view event, <laughs> and it is being called the Night of Champions, Championship Night, with all three NWA Championship belts on the line. But you know as well as I do, Vince Russo, in naming the title opponents, let's just say who knows what he's going to come up with for that big pay-per-view event, and who knows about the future of the NWA and the tradition and the history as we see that incredible acai moonsault hit by David Young on the iceberg. I'll tell you what, that's like landing on a wall, is it not? 500-pound wall. 500-pound wall, but he is the NWA Wildside Champion. I'll tell you what, though, Mike, the good thing is, and I'm looking so forward to it, I'm looking forward to see who really starts this. Oh. Holy cow. That'll knock the breath out of you. I'm looking so forward to it because the, the, the beauty of it is, no matter who he picks, we've got an awesome champion in Jeff Jarrett. No we've question. got an awesome tag team in America's Most Wanted. And the only one that Russo has in his corner is, of course, the exhibition champ, no slouch himself, mm -hmm. Sonny Siaki. But either way you look at it, he's got to pick a formidable opponent to give Jarrett or America's Most Wanted a great match. But I'm looking forward to it. Great spear that time by Iceberg. What does he call himself? The No Pain Train? Is that also another one of his many nicknames? Wrestled extensively over the Orient with the Wing promotion in Japan, as well as with the World Wrestling Council in Puerto Rico. Oh, high slam. The 
500 pounds behind that side slam as he drives David Young down to the mat. And you think about it, David Young's been uh, used to wrestling some X Division members here as of late. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I'd for qualify. Splash out of the corner, and he pulled him up until he had the man beat. I was going to say, I know when we say no limits for the X Division, but I, I believe Iceberg does break the limit. <laughs> he doesn't exactly Look wrestle the X Division style, does no, he? he? Doesn't. Regardless of what Eddie G says. Eddie G. The controversial Eddie G sporting a brand new jacket. Look at that. And of course, each and every week on our Wednesday night pay per views, you have grown to expect the unexpected. Oh. Some incredible surprises last week. People like Larry Zabisco, Conan, and the Russian nightmare Nikita Koloff returning to professional wrestling. Who's it going to be this week? And you know it's going to be somebody. I mean, let's face it. Uh, every week it's something different. Think about the great stars. Oh, man, nice. Belly to belly, an iceberg hits it. That is some belly. Bring the to belly. He, you, you know, he actually defeated Dave Young to become the NWA Wildside Champion. Yeah, the Wildside Heavyweight Champion. Right. Also holds victories over Abdullah the Butcher and Mr. Togo over in Japan when he's been wrestling for that wing promotion. Those are two of the biggest names in the history of Japanese wrestling for a decade. We're going to find out how good the ropes are tonight. Now, don't even talk about that. I'm not having... Oh, no! David Young. I'll tell you what, David, you better get up quick, though. Yeah, don't talk about the ropes. I'm having flashbacks from our first show six months ago. <coughs> Unbelievable. Iceberg out to the floor. Eddie G, look out from behind, cheap shot. Yeah, it's not enough that you have to wrestle a man that, that weighs twice as much as you do, but you also have to deal with the controversial Eddie G at ringside. I always knew he was controversial, but you really knew it when you saw that jacket Eddie G sport. Oh, wait a minute, look at that! There's the spine buster! How did he do it? He just, it's called weight transfer, I'll tell you that. David Young, the, the expert, when it comes to the spine buster, he can hit it from so many angles, but to even comprehend that he could first hit the power bomb and then the spine buster on the 500 pounder. Well, welcome to the ring, Eddie G. Tim Burton Came on, comes the story of a strange boy Those are your hands. in an even stranger land, the suburbs. This must be quite a change for you, right, Ed? Can I bring him to show and tell on Monday? Whoa, it's a heck of a handshake you got there, Ed. Johnny Depp, Winona Ryder. Hold me. In a unique romance, Edward Scissorhands. Tonight at 8 on UPN 30. 
At a time when car insurance rates are going up, Direct is one company holding our rates down. There's only one sure way for you to know if you're paying too much for car insurance. You have to shop around. We now have over 700 employees to give you the very best in customer service. So call us at Direct and take advantage of our new lower rates. We offer great service at a great price, low down payments, and low payments. Why pay more? Call Direct now. Save a lot of money when you buy Direct. I never was with you, and I never will be with you. Oh, and you know why? Because you, my friend, are a papa, arrogant, Yankee, son of a... Yeah! Here we go! Oh, that's man. the word we wanted to hear! Hallelujah! Look at Russo now, with cheap shots for Don Jarrett. Evolution is the solution! When you spit in my father's face... People didn't come here to see you! You disrespected everything that I stood for. Where are your balls? You are a laughing stock. You, my friend, are a papa, arrogant, Yankee, son of a... Vince, you requested this time last week, sit down interview, and I have to tell you, there are some questions that I've had for several years since we worked together at World Championship Wrestling. And I hope you're ready for them. All right, whatever you've got. First off, let's start off for the uninitiated out there. What exactly would your roles be? What would your duties be as a wrestling TV writer? My duties as a wrestling TV writer is to assure there are as many eyeballs watching the product as possible. And that basically means, Mike, by any extremes necessary. You do what you have to do in order to put people in front of the television set watching your show because whether you want to admit it or not, in this business, everything is ratings. In our case, everything is pay-per-view buys. So you do whatever you have to do to get people to watch the show. And in your opinion, how much does the writer affect the success or failure of a television program? Tremendously, Mike, because again, if you were the writer of this show, we would have a two-hour wrestling match that nobody would watch, Mike. Okay, the show would fail. The show wouldn't be on the air right now. I'm here to make sure that doesn't happen. Is there a place for wrestling without question? This, this sport, as you call it, was built on wrestling. Does it need to change? Does it need to evolve? You're damn right it does. And one day, sooner or later, you will understand that. At this, at this point in time, do you feel any responsibility at all for the demise of World Championship Wrestling? You know, Mike, let, let, let me explain something to you, because that question gets brought up a hundred times. Do, do you understand, I was actually writing the television at WCW for nine months. Do you understand that, Mike? Nine months. You tell me, how long was WCW in existence? How many years, years. Mike? How many years? years? Many Ten years. Ten years? Fifteen years? And you mean to tell me you're stupid enough to believe that in nine months, Vince Russo put that out of business? Well, well you know I, what? You if know I what? did, maybe it deserved to go out of business. You know what? I think it was a very salvageable project at that time. No question. Look at the talent salvageable. that WCW had. Look at the talent. Bill Goldberg, all the great cruiserweights that we had, Kevin Nash. And why was I brought in, Mike? I was brought in because the product was in the... I was brought in because the eyeballs weren't watching the show anymore. Let me anymore. ask you so some what specifics. They, do, they brought in the most successful writer in the history of the business, me. That's why I was brought in. So let's start there. Let me ask you some specifics. In WCW, we had a signature trademark division called the Cruiserweights. Incredible talent. Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio, and I can go on and on. Why would you decide to take that Cruiserweight division and build it around Evan Courageous, a young wrestler, Ed Ferrara, one of your co-writers, and a woman wrestler by the name of Medusa? Because people want entertainment, Mike. You want Lucha Libras, whatever you call them. Go to, J go to Japan, go to Mexico, you get all the Lucha Libras you want. Here in the United States, people want to be entertained. And there are about this many people that are entertained by guys jumping around in a ring for 40 minutes. You're entertained, but you know what, Mike? You don't mean to. Okay? Vince, what was the positive in tarnishing the image and the history of the World Heavyweight Championship belt the prop. by having David Arquette the prop. as the World Heavyweight Champion. Tell me the positive I'll to that. I'll tell you the positive, Mike, because what you don't understand is, was it a publicity stunt? 
yes, Mike, it was a publicity stunt. And you know what? The next day, I opened up the USA Today, and there was a picture in the USA Today of David Arquette covering Eric Bischoff. Would we have gotten that kind of coverage if DDP won the belt that night? What in don't in you other words, understand? you sold it's a your business, soul. Mike. You sold your soul for one day's mention You're of USA Today. You're damn right I sold my well, soul. How many people read USA to Today, me. Mike? Let me ex explain this to me. The week after that happened, why did the television rating for Monday Nitro drop to its lowest in four and a half years? Why did the WWF program have almost three times the audience that WCW did? 7.4 to 2.4. Well, Mike, first of all, do you, have yes, those, it didn't work. do you have those numbers here to show me? As far as I'm concerned, you're full of shit. You could sit around here and throw around all the numbers you want. I don't believe a word that comes out of your mouth. You want to show me those numbers, then we'll talk about those numbers. All I know is USA Today was covering WCW for the only time in the history of the paper. Understand? Now you do. Let's bring things up to date. Let's currently. bring it up to date. And, and I Let's can't, bring it I up how nobody stand. started watching this damn show until Sports Entertainment Extreme came in that back door. Let's talk about, Mike, Let's 300 people what. Let's being talk about. turned away last week Let's because of Sports Entertainment Extreme. Let's talk about November 20th. What a memorable, historic night it was in this building. And I thought we finally had done it. Jeff Jarrett did a terrific promo the week before. He told the people exactly what it meant to him to finally fulfill his quest and who cares? as world heavyweight. And who, who cares? cares? There was who incredible cares, heat in this building. I finally yeah. felt like we had turned the corner, and here. you had to ruin it by your interference. Ruin it? Mike, you've seen this building since then. Packed to the rafters. People screaming my name. People chanting sports entertainment extreme. You think they care what Jeff said? You think they cared about his tradition promo? I heard promo? it. Yeah, you they, cared, they Mike, care. and you're the only one. And if I leave this business in your hands and people like you, there won't be a TNA. I'm doing this for your own good, Mike. You know, Vince, this is your chance. Tell us what your vision tell is. You what I tell want, us what Mike. your vision is for sports want, entertainment extreme. Is a, sell me Vince on this Russo product. is a man with a heart and a soul who has two boys sitting at home. And you know what my vision is? I want my boys to be able to make a living in this business. But in order for that to happen, Mike, this business needs to be around. And if it continues to go the rate that you want it to be, and these jackasses and NWA are going, and Vince McMahon and his, I don't even know what that is on Monday nights going, there won't be a wrestling business, not five years from now, one year from now, Mike. And you know what? Don't say another word, because when all's said and done, you're going to be thanking me, and you're going to be kissing my big ass, Mike. Welcome back to TNA Explosion, everybody. Jeremy Borash, along with Mortimer Plumtree here on the show. Hey! Hey, it's Bert! Oh, it's cold! You it's think it's cold? You walk right by me on 65 in your little green gremlin. That wasn't me! Well, it used to be green. Well, that's not I, you. That wasn't who me! Else, who else drives a green gremlin? Get out of here! Bert Pratt oh, is here. Right? You know what? I'm going to go play in the snow. You're not invited. You're not invited. I'm going to go make a snow angel. <laughs> what a creep. I'll tell you what. Bert, are you okay? I heard you were stuck out on 65 for two days. Crazy, crazy weather around here. I'll tell you what, crazy weather. Mortimer may be back. He doesn't have any tires on his gremlin when he gets out of the park. What happened? All right, we won't get into that. Jeremy. Yes. The talk of the wrestling business, NWA, mm. TNA, no matter where you go, we are the talk of the wrestling business. I'll tell you what, every week now, and we told you this last week, we warned you in advance. We told you ahead of time. Get there early. You don't want to be turned away. A capacity crowd filled to the rafters. No more room. We couldn't get another person in there with a shoehorn. This Wednesday night, we're telling you, it's going to be the same thing. Get there early. Doors open at 5.30. The on sale, what, 4 o'clock? 4 o'clock. Standing room only again this week. It's getting to be a habit. Yeah. And uh, I tell you what, it's just incredible. Nothing like seeing it live. Folks. Look who showed up this past Wednesday. Nikita Koloff, Larry Zabisco, Conan. Conan ran in the ring, hit people with a cane, got out of the ring, went out to the parking lot, got in his car, went to the airport. We haven't seen him since. It has been insane, but I tell you what, he named it right, the asylum, or oh. whoever named it, I'll tell you what, because that's what it is. But it's crazy with wrestling action every Wednesday night. Nashville fans are the luckiest fans in the world, because every Wednesday night they can go to the asylum. You know, fans in New York can't go no, to no. weekly wrestling. Now, do you know how lucky I feel just to live in this town, just to be able to go to TNA every Wednesday night, just to be able to see it live, just to be able to be part of the action and see it and be part of the atmosphere? You, too, have that same privilege, that same opportunity. And all you need to do is make the short drive to the Tennessee State Fairgrounds, the TNA Asylum, every Wednesday night. You know, too, Jeremy, you can go online to nwatna.com. 
Buy your tickets with your credit card. Mm-hmm. And their reserved seats, you can show up at 7 o'clock oh. and walk right to your seat. We want you there at 6.30. Oh, you got to be there for 6.30, the explosion the match. Explosion, yeah. Right. Oh, we're going to see another explosion match coming up in just a minute. Also yet to come on the program, the one-on-one sit-down interview, Vince Russo, Mike Tanay. What an that intense? Oh, my goodness. That was intense. That was unbelievable. And then we're going to see what happens later on in the night when Dusty Rhodes came out, said his piece, interrupted by Vince Russo, a challenge made and yet to come on the program. We are going to see the eight-man tag team match, uh, SEX, we'll Sports Entertainment today. Extreme. Oh, we're seeing it on the program. Yet to come today. Triple X and Vince Russo against the Road Warriors, Jeff Jarrett, and Dusty Rhodes. The stipulation yeah. added, Vince Russo, if his team won, he got control of this Wednesday's program. Have you heard the hottest selling t-shirt in the wrestling business? SEX. Well, I know people people want to use it to shine their shoes. I mean, we sold people three boxes the other night. Unbelievable. I mean, we've had to reorder it. Un- it is unbelievable. Well, I'll tell you what, no matter your preference, no matter what side you sign on, Sports Entertainment Extreme, the NWA, both parties are coming forth with all guns a blazing. I'll tell you what, Vince Russo pulled the swerve on everybody. You know, that was interesting, listening to Vince Russo and also listening to Dusty Rhodes, because you got to agree with some of the stuff Vince Russo says, and you got to agree with a lot of the stuff Dusty Rhodes says. Somewhere in the middle, the two shall meet, and I'll tell you, they met last Wednesday night. They sure did. Now, this Wednesday will be no exception. The question is, what will Vince Russo bring to the table? Now that the ball is in his court, now that he controls the challengers, the very people that will step into the ring to face the champions in the National Wrestling Alliance. Now, to Vince Russo and Sports Entertainment Extreme's credit, they do have Sonny Siaki, the X Division champion, in their stable. My guess is, if I know Vince Russo like I think, Sonny Siaki will have the night off. He'll, he'll face anybody. He'll put him in the ring with somebody. An easy win for Siaki. However, that means Jarrett has to face whoever Vince Russo chooses. That means America's Most Wanted, Storm and Harris, have to take on whoever Vince Russo chooses. And I'll know, you know, uh, I know one thing about Vince Russo. Uh, whatever he likes to do, he likes to do with a big surprise. And he's got a lot of friends in the wrestling business, oh. like him or not. He's a very polarizing figure. He could maybe bring somebody in from the outside. You I wouldn't put know. it past him. I would not put it past him for a moment. Well, I'll tell you what, gang, to find out for yourself, to see it in person, to be part of the magic that is total nonstop action, come on down to the asylum, get there early, get your tickets now, do not be turned away, and make plans to come down to the total nonstop action asylum. TNA, total nonstop action. If you can't be there live, join us on pay-per-view every Wednesday. In demand and direct TV, no doubt about it, Bert. It's the hottest ticket going right now. But you better get there early. Free parking at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. Box office opens promptly at 4 o'clock, and doors open at 5.30. Get there early, folks. We don't want to turn you away. And this Wednesday night, I know for a fact, is going to be an incredible evening. Oh, I'll tell you what. We have not let you down yet, gang. We have not disappointed you one time. This Wednesday at the Asylum, you're going to see Sports Entertainment Extreme. You're going to see Vince Russo, an incredible six-man X Division match has already been signed. You're going to see AJ Styles versus the living legend Larry Zabisco, who showed up. We're going to see that a little later on the program. The and girls are going to be there. Oh, the girls, the girls. Oh, don't worry about the girls. They're going to be there. All that and a whole lot more. Don't miss it this Wednesday at the Asylum. That's unbelievable. It's still cold outside. I get a little snowball. Tell Mortimer to call Shorties. He'll help you. Okay, folks, we've been stuck in the house for two days. It's time to get out. Tonight, 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 only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. USA Championship Wrestling, hot, live, Southern-style wrestling. Tonight, folks, you'll see Andy Douglas take on Hot Rod Big, the Misfits Clyde against the Evil Twins. You'll see Eric Andrews take on the Freak. And in this one, the loser of the fall leaves town for one year when Bart Sawyer teams with Sal and Shady to take on Chris Vaughn and Rick Santel. It's the fan participation, Lumberjack Strap Match, Triple Threat, when April Pennington takes on Athena, takes on Lollipop, all three girls in the ring at the same time. And in the main event, James Storm and Chris Harris take on David Flair and Humongous. All this happens tonight. Be there! You know, most men get pretty shook up about losing their hair. But today, many of them are learning about Bosley Medical. They use your own living hair to fill in the thin spots. Just look at that. It really works. You can treat it like real hair because it is real hair. Your own naturally growing hair. So you don't have to worry about it. 
Bosley Medical is the world's most experienced hair restoration practice. For over 25 years, they have performed more than 130,000 procedures using the innovative micrografting techniques pioneered by founder Dr. L. Lee Bosley. Each surgeon at Bosley Medical is board certified and individually trained by me. So if you want to have your own naturally growing hair back, call this number for more information. We'll send you this free video and in-depth guidebook that gives you the real facts about hair restoration. There's no cost and absolutely no obligation. So do it for yourself. Call now and get the real results you've been looking for. It's your real hair. You can't do better than real. The following contest for TNA Explosion is scheduled for one fall. About